Hello everyone, so today uh, following ISTE 2016 I was presenting a poster and on the side of my poster I talked to people about this curriculum mapping with Google Apps and everybody got so excited, much more excited by this part of my poster than the actual main part of my poster, which made me think that I could really like focus all my attention on this. So here we go, I'm going to show you what it looks like from the teacher's point of view. So no geeky and admin thing over here, it's just a very short um, overview of the first part of this curriculum mapping with Google Apps project. So as a teacher, I will go to uh, this Google site that my admin would have created and go to request a unit template. And this page will have an embedded Google form over here. So I'll just pick up my name in the teacher's drop-down menu and then select the subject, the grade, the course, and then enter my unit's title. and then the start and end date. All right, after that, I'll simply submit my Google form. And if I want to, I can always submit another response. But in my case, I just created this one and I'm gonna check my emails to see if I received the template. Refreshing my inbox, I can see that I received an email automatically generated, which has an attached Google Doc. And here we are on this Google Doc, which is owned by the curriculum account, but it's editable by the teacher, by me. And what is great is that I can simply click on share and add someone here to edit with me or to comment. So here, I'm going to continue filling in my template, for example, as much as I want. And I can continue working on it. I can take my time, doesn't really matter. All right, coming back to our website. The second part that I'm going to show you is called units. This is a place where everyone at school can see each other's units. So you wait for a few seconds and there will be an awesome table showing up here with all the units that have been submitted, including their title, the teacher, when it was last updated, subject area, grade level start of the unit, the course name and the unit title. So you can change this, but this is the order we choose on. And if you simply click on one of them, you can view it, which is really extraordinary because this is so easy to find out what others are working on and how to collaborate with them. And it's super easy. So I'm going to close this. And here, as you can see, you have different way of filtering information as well, which makes it really easy for you to find out what's going on and to collaborate with one another. The last thing we are going to look at in this video is the timeline. Once again, this is a powerful tool to find out what units are going on and when and how I could potentially collaborate with a teacher on a certain topic. So if I look at a specific date, I can see that uh, these two units are going on if, and if I'm teaching math, maybe I can make some connection between wearable technology and my subject. So that's it. That was a very short video to show you how it looks. It's super simple, it's collaborative, it's flexible, and this is what we like. It's creating a culture of sharing and trust in a school. So I hope you like it and if you have any question, please write down your comments. Thank you.